today we are not actually in a game but we are almost in it we are doing something that's connected to minecraft uh, i've been doing some uh, some time lapses on my channel which some of you might have seen but i'm doing them in the snapshot which means i don't have access to uh, replay mods and stuff like that so i have to do something a little different so instead i'm using my uh, my secondary account to uh, to record on and then then building stuff on my main account but i'm doing it on the same computer and i had a little trouble figuring out how to do it but in the end it's actually not that hard so that's what i'm going to show you today First of all, you need to have two versions of mine or two accounts on Minecraft. Uh, there is some other ways to do it, but I'm not going to show those because I don't think they... Uh, well, I'm not going to do them because they require third party programs and stuff like that. So, so I have two actual uh, bought accounts from a purchased account paid for accounts something like that uh, on minecraft uh, both of those so as a lot of you probably know to get into the directory or whatever for minecraft you can do this and this is all the stuff that is in the minecraft folder and that's when when you launch the, um, the program it, it takes stuff from in here but if you launch the same account twice, it's both of them are going to go into these installations and in these uh, go change stuff in those folders, which might lead to problems. So, and a simple way to get uh, around that is to just simply create another one i've called it mine slow cam because it's still minecraft and it's my slow cam account so i, I put the uh, the dot in front just to get it in the top that's not necessary i'm pretty sure it's not it's not necessary um and as soon as you've done that you are almost finished then you just go into installations create a new one uh, give it a name install Asian test I think we're gonna call it and then game directory uh, by default it's just gonna take the dot minecraft one but if you go into it you can see I can also cha change it to dot uh, slow game which is the one I'm gonna do and then okay so now it's gonna ch choose this one original doesn't matter it's gonna do that by itself so now if i go back to play i can find it somewhere in the button but bottom there so now if i choose this one it's going to be a different installation from this one so let's just show you how it's done and um, first of all i'm f first off i'm gonna do it with my um main account and starting minecraft up like this and then I'm just going to make a new random world. On creative. And that's fine. And then just create it. So uh, as soon as this is created, I can go out of this window. Let's just place it over here. And I, I was told the launcher to stay open if you haven't done that you can just do it or, or or reopen it somewhere where we have the uh, the .exe file now i'm going to change into my slow cam account and then going to take the installation test also the same version which is important if you want to play on the same world that's like all servers gonna start this one up as well and i'm gonna place this one here then get the other version over here Go back to game, open to lane, uh, creative, cheaton, like always, then over here, and the other world is there. And as you can see over here, I just joined in as well, and I can see myself. Now, one other thing, 
as soon as I go to this over here, this win window stays open for a very particular reason, because I have to press F3 and P, and it's uh, it uses it, it, one of the debug commands and pause and lost focus is now enabled which means when I shift it's gonna uh, go to the uh, the menu screen I guess I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it's called um, but but that's that's very important because because if you want to record you don't want to just look at this so F3 and P once again and it's disabled and I can now just F1 go back to the other one and move around so so that's basically how you do it um of course mods like replay mod and and stuff like that is going to make it a lot easier but 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 like this you can at least get something and the sound is way higher than i expected anyways that's basically how it's done it's pretty simple it 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 makes it a lot easier to record because otherwise i needed to have my main account on one computer, the secondary account on another computer, and just stuff like that. But but this way works absolutely fine. I can record, I can record this window without a problem. Uh, and as soon as I go away from it, it still stays on, which is pretty amazing. So I hope you find found this uh, video useful. It's not really an in-depth tutorial because it doesn't really require much, but. But that's basically just how it is. So, so uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.